In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at vSAN Data Persistence Platform, in particular, the Minio service that we're now offering as part of the supervisor services. You can see the Minio service there, among other services that we have available, and we are going to enable that service. Uh, before we do so, uh, what we can do, instead of pulling the Minio images from an external registry, we can pull it from our own internal embedded harbor registry that is part of vSphere with Tanzu. If we have a look here, there are three images that I've already pushed to this repository for Minio. There's the console, the Kate's operator, and the vSphere image. All are available there. So let's go back and we'll enable the service once more. It's simply a matter of selecting the service, clicking on the enable link, and populating the required information. So my image registry or repository is at that IP address, and it is in the namespace Cormac NS, which corresponds to a project in Harbor. Fill in the credentials, accept the EULA, and the deployment starts in earnest. Now, if you notice at the top of the screen, you will see a pop-up appear to say that um, the Minio plugin is available in just a moment, but we can also see just there all of the different uh, pod VMs that are being created for our service. And there you can see the, uh, the plugin uh, populating across the top. And what it's asking you to do is a refresh browser, but what we do is we'll just log out and log back in again so we can see the Minio uh, related menu items when we log back in. And so again, it's just selecting cluster, configure, and now what you can see is that there are some menu, menu items as shown here. So we'll go ahead now and we'll create a tenant, and that's just a matter of doing an add. We give the tenant a name, but more importantly, you're going to tell it which namespace, and I'm going to put this into Cormac-NS namespace in my supervisor cluster once again. The storage classes are there. You have to associate those storage classes with the namespace in order to be able to select them. And now we're getting into the configuration of the Minio tenant and how much storage it's going to provide in the accessory object store, how much memory per node, um, and the erasure coding and all of that good stuff is there for you to see. Uh, it's important to copy these credentials as you will require these later to log into not just the S3 object store to create buckets and so on, but also into the, uh, the Minio management console. So let's monitor this. We can see that there are some volumes coming online. Um, there are some uh, pod VMs coming online, um, but this will take a little bit of time, but we can actually monitor it. And within that Cormac namespace, which is where we requested the Minio to deploy, we should soon start seeing the uh, pod VMs populating there in just a moment. So what we can do is we can also check out the container volumes because obviously this is some persistent storage. And what we should see shortly is uh, these persistent volumes appearing here in the CNS view, the container volumes view as well. So let's just refresh that in just a sec. We can see the, uh, the pod VMs coming in here is good and we should also see the persistent volumes appearing also and you can see them there with the Minio vSAN SNA thick which is the policy that I chose for this. So let's go back to the uh, tenant, the Minio tenant view. You can see it here. Let's have a look at the Cormac Minio tenant once again. We can click on the details now we can see that the volumes are online, the storage is available, the health has all of the pod VMs running, and all of the volumes are bound. Everything looks good. Now these are the Minio endpoint and console endpoints that I mentioned to you earlier. That's why you will need these credentials that were provided when we created the tenant. And you will provide these credentials when you connect to, as you say, the object store here, or indeed the console endpoint as well. So hopefully you can see how simple it is to set up a Minio service on a per namespace basis in vSphere with Tanzu. Thank you for watching.